We're here to talk about the red carpet specials that we've done together and what you see happening in the virtual and hybrid space for nonprofits. Well, this is uh, something that you and I have been working for quite a while, the red carpet, uh, the arrivals, let's say, to uh, nonprofits events. And I think when you and I started, which is that picture right behind you, yes, that was the uh, Escazo Museum of Contemporary Art. And that was long before the pandemic. Yes, that was actually, uh, yeah, six years before the yeah, pandemic, 2019. Yeah, this was six years before. And I remember approaching you, telling you, Kerry, I have this great idea. Since this event, it was uh, uh, fashionably avant-garde for the Escazo Museum of Contemporary Art event, it was the gala. I told you, let's talk about not only the fashion, which is a visual component of the event and people arriving, but also the mission with the, with the guests as they arrive. Why do they support the, the Scottsdale Museum of Contemporary Art? Why so important to be part of the community? Why, all these whys you don't know about until, unless you write an article or you are participant of the, of the nonprofit. So we did a live stream, and at that time it was a rather rudimentary <laughs> live stream. It was kind of basic. You know, I didn't have at that time all of my cameras out there yep. and everything. We just did it basic, and it actually turned out very well. And that planted a seed in both of our minds of what could be produced on the red carpet. To your point, it is very visual, and we do it much like TV. So we tell a great story about the event. Yeah, it always it, it always start with the type of production and the quality of production is something that I always tell uh, boards, committees, and, and people in the world of nonprofits. It's just like once you produce something that is a high quality, it is a national quality, TV quality, you have the eyes of people like glued to it. This type of events at this level contributes to the image and the mission and the storytelling of that particular uh, nonprofit. The return of investment com comes back in big, in big waves. Why? because you can use some of these production elements and cut them into snippets, very short. Micro um, content. Micro con correct. Micro content that you can send it to social media. You can cut it in like micro content and put it on your website. You can create mini social media TV commercials announcing your upcoming event. You can highlight some of your donors. You can, I mean, the possibilities are endless. You can uh, use quotes from whatever that person said during your interview as you arrive to the nonprofit event. I'm just gonna tell you for this one, this particular one. Uh, two weeks later, we received an, a letter and calls from all the sponsors. They wanted to come back the year after, and they wanted to know the levels of sponsorship. Just out of you and I, if you see right there, we're just standing in a little <laughs> cube with a cell phone. This was just years back. Now, the one that is behind me, that was 2019. And it was for, the, for Scottsdale Arts, and it was their annual uh, fundraiser. And I happened to be the chair, and you happened to be our host and our live stream host for the red carpet arrival. This one right here, the same thing weeks after the, the sponsors wanted to come back because they saw live their, um, the nonprofit event at a very high level that everyone said it looked like the Oscars arrival. I would have worked in uh, on red carpet events in Los Angeles uh, mm -hmm. in, in major television capacity. And I block these live streams much like TV. So we know who's coming down the red carpet at what time, if there are certain sponsors that need to be interviewed yep. to get the flavor of the supporters and the sponsors. And most importantly, and I know you care about this as do I, share the mission of the organization. Correct. That is something that we try to incorporate in every, even if it's a high fashion event, we still, we're not only talking about the beautiful dresses, all these gorgeous, amazing yep. women and and handsome gentlemen, but we're talking about why do you support this organization? What is the organization doing right now? And what are the plans for the future? What do you hope happens next? What do I hope? I hope um, nonprofits understand the value and the importance to create content at this very high level, uh, like production level. Like I said, before to see something like this, you had to look into Los Angeles and see the big, the big broadcast networks trying to do this. Now we do have it. Your, you and your team, you are doing it here locally. 
So wherever you are in the country, you can create content that or create a, a produced content by a journalist and her team at a very high level and transfer that to your community yeah. and even reuse in little capsules that content throughout the year that you have that information. Oscar, thank you for chatting with us and I look forward to working with you on more events in They're the near coming. future. They're yeah, coming. more to come. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Carrie Penny. You can see more of our work at inspiredmedia360.com. Take care.